real-time API updates from OpenAI for production voice agents. Hi, you've reached new telco. How can I help you? I want to see why my bills are higher this time. Sure. May I have your phone number so I can look that up? 206-123-1246. Let me check. I found the reason your bill is higher this time, and you had $4 in data overage fees. It uses two different agents. One is the chat agent, another one is supervisor agent. At the back end, it uses OpenAI Agents SDK, one of the popular agents framework. And the supervisor agent is querying the database and retrieving all relevant information. So I'm going to show you how you can run this locally on your computer. Even you can extend this further to implement this on your own company. So you can have automated customer service completely handled by AI. They have reduced the price for GPT real time by 20%. That is $32 per million audio input tokens and $64 for million audio output tokens. That is still high. Function calling is much more accurate than previous models. The accuracy is also much better than the previous models. You can integrate this in various applications. So rather than someone clicking and finding information, you can talk to the application to find out the answer. And we have the OpenAI real-time agents code on GitHub. And I'm going to take you through step-by-step step how you can run this locally on your computer. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. First step, git clone and the full path to that code and then click enter. Next, navigate to OpenAI real-time agents folder. Now we are going to install all the packages using npm space i and then click enter. npm is a required package which you can install from nodejs.org. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. This you can generate from platform.openai.com. Next, npm run dev and it will automatically start the application and is running in this path. So I'm going to open this by clicking it. Hi there. And you can see it's running locally on my computer in localhost 3000. So now I can ask any questions. What you can do? You've reached new telco. How can I help you? I can assist with questions about your account, your plan or services. Help okay. you fi find me um, my account details. Sure. Could you please provide your phone number linked to the account? My phone number contains the number 123. I'll need the entire phone number to look up your account details. Could you please share the full number? See, we can even secure this so that it doesn't allow anyone to trick the system. So only the full number is allowed. So similarly, you can add multiple checks before it passes the information. So at the back end, it uses two different agents. One is the chat agent, another one is supervisor agent. The chat agent is a real time mini model. That is a voice conversation. We are asking question and it's responding in audio format. When I ask for previous month spent, the chat agent is collecting relevant information and passing that detail to the supervisor agent. And the supervisor agent is querying the database and retrieving all relevant information. That's how it works behind the scenes. So all the tool calls is done by the supervisor agent. In that way, even we can have a cheaper model in the supervisor agent to get it worked out cheaper. At the back end, it uses OpenAI Agents SDK, one of the popular agents framework from OpenAI. You can also have output guardrails to make sure only relevant information is being getting printed out. So you can modify this code based on your requirement or extend this from here. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like real-time OpenAI, I also created another video about OpenAI SDK, Agents SDK, which I put the link in here. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.